Alrighty, so here we have Beacon Pines being planted into a switch. Um, I'm going to go ahead and do a new game. This is a uh, courtesy of the uh, publisher. Dear reader, Allow me to introduce you to my book. Though it might at first appear like many books you've come across, it is far from ordinary. You may, therefore, have some misunderstandings about its nature. The story that awaits you has not been fully told. In fact, its conclusion is not yet known, even to myself. It is in that way that my book is special. It is in that way that you are special. Without you, there is no story. Chapter one. Normal isn't what it used to be. This is a story about change. Nestled in a shallow valley is the town of Beacon Pines. Far from the town square, across the river, past the neglected welcome sign, a young boy walks alone at dawn. His name is Luca Van Horn, and like you, dear reader, he's here for a reason. This is a uh, narrative-driven um, adventure game that is very beautiful, very unique, and pretty fun. Hey Dad, how are things going? Today is the first day of summer vacation. I start middle school next year, I guess. I was six years old when you died. And it's been six years now. From here on out, you'll have to be gone longer than you were here. It feels like that should mean something. Mom always said that this tree was your favorite spot in the world. Me too. Hey, Luca. I knew I'd find you here. Romo was Luca's closest friend. He possessed many fine qualities, but his subtlety was not one of them. Well, after I banged on your door till your grand answered, and after I checked the pond, and climbed up to the treehouse, then I knew I'd find you here. Willow finally noticed the tear swelling in his friend's eyes, and the flowers on the grave. Oh, yeah, right. You and your mom always did this on your dad's birthday. Yeah. I didn't know if you were going to keep doing it now that your mom's gone, too. She's not gone. She's just... missing. Sorry, I meant to say she was missing. She's gonna come back, Rollo. Of course she is. Okay, Dad, see you next time. I think I'm ready to get out of here. Sure, lead the way. So, the graphics are... the, the art style is, is amazing. Um, it really does feel like you're playing a book that's that's come to life in a very unique and great way. And it's unique in the sense that you'll come across words or charms, the ability to use to change the course of the story. And depending on the words you choose can open up paths in the story that weren't previously available. It's pretty pretty fun and pretty unique. Like here I'm gonna find a charm. Tickle. Wonderful! I had a good feeling about you from the moment you opened my book. That charm is a very special thing. Very special indeed. Keep hold of it for now. Its purpose will reveal itself soon enough. I think that's the only one. Yeah, it's somewhere on here. So I'm going to keep going. Oh yeah, I almost forgot. The whole reason I was looking for you. I was wondering if you'd ever get to that. I found the perfect way to start our summer. How's that? Rolo looked to the side suspiciously. 
Not here. They might be watching. They? Who? Shh, not so loud. We need to do this in a secure location. Mission control. Alright, I just have to tell Gran and then we're gonna head out. What are you gonna tell her? I don't know, I'll think of something. If it's all the same to you, I'll meet you at the welcome sign. Your Gran still kinda wakes me out. I don't do well with new people. She moved in like half a year ago. Just meet me at the sign when you're done. So yourself, I won't be long. Telegram before heading out with Rolo. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and go in here. Dear reader, forgive me for this interlude. Remember that charm you found in the dandelion patch? There are more of those special charms to discover throughout Beacon Pines. They've been known to reveal themselves to those who are willing. Some of them can be found in this very house. Okay, so there's are there are charms here. I'm gonna go ahead the ponder charm down here. You can investigate little things like the dresser. One of his father's old stethoscopes. Luca had spent countless hours listening to anything and everything with it. Not for years, though. Since Gran had moved in, the house was more peaceful, more orderly, and more covered in flowery fabric. I really ha like how uh, energetic the uh, uh, narrator is. Makes feel like it's a feel-good story, even though it's... It does have its creepy undertones and creepy parts. <laughs> Gran had commandeered the upstairs closet when she moved in. Some things need shelter from a young boy's mischief, she said. Luca paused at his parents' bedroom door. He just wasn't ready to go in yet. And there's another charm in here, I believe. Luca tossed on his favorite old sweater. Even though it was the first day of summer, a chill still hung in the air. Grand's moving in meant that most of Luca's things had been crammed in the corner. Luca was somewhat annoyed by the situation. There should be a... I think there's another one. There might not be. I think actually that's it. Gran's bed was undis- Luca didn't mind that she had a habit of falling asleep in front of the fireplace. It meant that he could read late into the night. But then he'll come out here and he'll use his charms to help guide the story. I think it's in here, actually. Got the junk charm. Oh my! This is quite exciting! I am now certain that you are the one I have been waiting for all these years. You'll recall I was a bit coy regarding the use of charms earlier. Excuse me, I tend to have a flair for the dramatic. You are about to encounter your first turning point. There are certain times in this tale when everything hinges on a single word. Step forth, dear reader. In this right here's conversation with Gran is where you can choose the charm and it'll help drive the story. Hey Gran, I'm gonna hang out with Rollo for the day. See you later. Hold up now. Where do you where do you where are you headed exactly? Oh, nowhere special. So now I get to choose a charm. So I'm gonna go ahead and choose chill. We were just gonna go chill for the day. We're just gonna go chill for the day. The best lies are built on truth. You boys are always in a hurry to do nothing. We stick to what we're good at. Make sure you're done chilling in time for supper. Easy. Impressive! You've managed to navigate your first turning point without too much of a mess. That is the power of charms. 
A single word can change everything. I think it's time to introduce you to the Chronicle. The Chronicle is a record of the decisions you've made. You can see the turning point which has been revealed. At any time, you can use the Chronicle to go back and invoke different charms, creating new branches. Luckily for us, this is the one and only turning point where the charms won't dramatically alter fate. It's the perfect opportunity to experiment with rewriting things. So we're gonna go here and choose a different word. It doesn't change things much, but I'll go ahead and do hide. We were just gonna go hide for the day. We're just gonna go hide for the day. Hide. Traditionally, when one is trying to hide something, they avoid literally using the word hide. Yeah, I guess Rollo bet some other kids we would beat them at hide and seek. Are you a little old for that? It's not like there's much else to do around here. I'll make sure your boys are done playing your little game. Time for supper. And then you get to go meet uh, Rolo at the, at the sign. But um, I'm going to end the review here, guys. Uh, this is a bit of a short look at Beacon Pines. I want to thank the publisher for the great presenting of these games. Oh, <laughs> oh, and Luca. You and Rolo stay out of trouble. I know, I know. Get in trouble with Rolo. <laughs> like I said, um, this is a very unique game. A very fun and enjoyable uh, little adventure game. That is pretty unique in the way that it branches out its 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 story elements. It's uniquely told. It looks beautiful. It plays great, and it's a game I definitely would recommend. And again, I want to thank the publisher for the opportunity. This game again is a very unique experience. I want to highly recommend. I want to thank you for watching. Thank you for subscribing. As always, until next time, take care and happy gaming.